In a world of a million presents, one video dare to be the best gift of all. Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively. If they ever break up, I'll be heartbroken. So there's one, by the way, reason why they're the same. They have lots of kids. Specifically, they have four girls. Um, And Ryan Reynolds, he just loves the heck out of Blake. And I know that Darren loves the heck out of Mom. And yes, you're not allowed to break up, and neither are they. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, even if it's dated. <laughs> Slightly. Um, are you giving a reasoning for that? Just two good looking people. <laughs> um, I'll go with um, the Bluey parents because they're so good at playing with the children and you guys are really good at playing with my kids. I would have to say Zendaya and whatever his name is. Tom, Tom Holland. Holland. Oh, that's a good one. They're nice and young. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're young. You guys are young at heart. Oh, the Duggars. Grimes and Elon Musk. The Duggars. <laughs> We decided, we deliberated on this one. A long time. A long time. A we long deliberated time. on this one. And it was Matthew Broderick and... Sarah Jessica Parker. Mm-hmm. And explain why, Jacob. Because those were the only two celebrities that I recognized by name <laughs> that were married. <laughs> and because that kind of gives like a Matthew Broderick vibe. Who's married to Blake Lively? Ryan Reynolds? I just think Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively are two wonderful, good looking people who love each other. And so. I would say Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively because they are a hot couple. And also they're like super cute and adorable. Chip and the lady fixer up, I think. Yeah, those people. Green Arrow and Felicity, but the roles are switched where dad is Felicity. Rapunzel and Flynn Mider. Why? Because um, they travel together. Like, they do travel together um, in this movie, and they travel together, too. In Sit the down. crazy house, if Papa gave her a crazy house, and crazy tree, and get her a crazy house. Darren. I, yeah, I feel like mom's the type yeah. of person that's gonna get killed off like right at the very beginning. That's a bummer. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure which one exactly, but I would probably go for dad. Sorry, Paige. This one's hard because I feel like dad would just get really scared, but also with Paige. But um, I'm gonna go with Paige on this one. I feel like she could use her womanly ways to get certain supplies and stuff like that. <laughs> Mom would survive the longest. I think she would know when to run, when to hide, and when to crack a joke. Paige. Yeah, it'd be my mom. Paige. You guys would survive the exact same amount of time because you would not leave each other in a horror movie. That's a good response. <laughs> I feel like women are usually the targets in horror movies, so probably dad. I don't know. I'd... Mm, that's hard. Maybe it would be Darren then, because mom does seem like the best friend to the main character who, like, is like, oh, there's nothing in your house, and then they get killed at the very beginning. My gut reaction was Paige. Same. Paige would probably just, like, bring Heidi onto the stage and talk about what an amazing blind dog she is and probably do comedy on that, which I think that would make her win. And dad would probably find some cool light show type of thing that he programmed. I feel like it would be Darren and it would be something that we didn't know that he knew how to do. Yeah. It would be like, wow, I never knew Darren knew how to play an electric saxophone. Yeah. Yeah, he's sneaky good at things. But also Paige is a great um, roller skater. That's true. Her, so. her talent would be roller skate tricks. And 80, like, while singing 80s ballads. <laughs> they play with us um, when we want somebody to play with us. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, um, so when um, 
we like if we want to go swimming, the say okay after we eat. Shoots and ladders. Darren would be more likely to win America's Got Talent, I think, because uh, I think that he would his talent he'd get on stage. And a random person, he basically do chopped live in person. A random person run up, hand him a random sort of ingredients, and he'd be, he would make a dinner in 10 minutes or less. They could feed a family of 10. What an amazing town. Absolute immediate win. I think dad would do knife throwing. And Paige would do um, Hallmark watching talent. And I think Paige would win because most people relate to that. Dad would do underwater basket weaving, I think. Paige can be a poetry haiku master. There we go. We'll say Paige is the winner. No, Dad, underwater basket weaving is much more impressive. <laughs> like a big tank and everything. Maybe Darren with like, do like some weird, like, I don't know, like make some weird omelet, but it's like art. And the judges get to choose the main ingredients and then it tastes good in the end, but it's like also art. So it's like, whoa. And they does the stuff like they do at like the hibachi restaurants or whatever, where they have like the chefs like do cool stuff. I think Darren would do that and he would win AGT making food art. I said that Darren would be making music out of technology things. Like he would press um, like the sounds of the keyboard would make he like turn it into music something page we decided was interpretive Cari dance karaoke interpretive dance karaoke yes mm -hmm. and who would win jacob um with the talent like interpretive dance karaoke you've got to win <laughs> so, so page page would win page i feel like page would like be a stand-up comedian and then Dad would teach, which I don't know how you like convert that to a talent show, but no, he'd program. He'd like hack into things really quickly. That's what he'd do. He would win. He would win? Probably dad. We're, we're going to say that they win together as a duo for roller skating, not karaoke yeah. and roller skating at the oh, same time. Karaoke, karaoke, doing karaoke while roller skating. Nailed it. Dad, you would get quite the following just doing like house project tutorials, you know, how to make a headboard, how to make a table, how to make floating shelves. And then pages would be would be a how-to on how to get your husband to do the projects. I definitely can picture them going viral for like the kitchen hacks. You know, like Darren with like his like cutting up the watermelon. Definitely doing some dumb couple thing that they don't tell us about because that's only what they do when they're alone, but definitely that. And then one of them be recording and they would do some dumb thing it would maybe be like a prank that mom does on Darren, but it goes wrong. But she still posts it on TikTok, and then they go viral. Like doing TikTok challenges as like older people. Um, like the towel challenge and the tortilla slap. Just not the Tide Pod challenge. No, <laughs> well, yeah, don't do the Tide Pod challenge. It's dangerous. Um, yeah, I think they would go viral for that. Dancing? Dancing? Um, dancing with us. With their grandkids? Uh-huh. I think on TikTok they would go viral for their podcast, obviously. They would do episodes live. They'd be like one of those people who you always see their podcast, uh, like clips on TikTok. And there would be clips of them being hilarious and helpful. And people would be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go watch their podcast now. Like probably blended family, like communication, mental health content. If I'm answering honestly. They could like make a podcast. You should do that. <laughs> they would go viral for uh, talking about how stupid it is. So they won't go viral for, on TikTok. What will happen is they will be in the background of a viral video, like they're photo bombing. Oh, that's funny. And they'll, 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 they'll basically be famous for that. <laughs>
I feel like their podcast would go viral. It was just fun having two weddings this year. Um, it was a lot of fun just hanging out and getting ready for weddings. I especially love Jake and McKaylee's wedding. I think that was really fun and um, a really special time. And I could just see so much love all of the love that Paige and Dad have for our family. So that was that was a really special time. I liked our brunch in La Jolla that we all went to together. I thought that was a lot of fun. Piatti's my favorite restaurant. So. <laughs> it is your favorite restaurant. Um, um, I would have to say, for me, it's um, probably just the various weddings. We had a lot of family events this year. And they were really fun. Mm -hmm. The summer, because there wasn't school. My surprise party! Yeah? Me. What was special about your surprise party? That I like that you surprised me. me. Yeah? Me. Do you know whose idea it was? Me. Uh, me. 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 Since um, they weren't so uh. they weren't really me. celebrating anything. Me. Me. Like they me. weren't since they me. knew I wouldn't be they would be there for my birthday. Me. So they wanted to celebrate me. for me. I daddy had big head party. Yeah, I had okay. big mama, papa. I got to get to be my girl. And then they came to your school? Yeah, they met me and my girl play cake with me. For you? Yeah. Nice. Mommy. Mitchell, can you say grandma? Grandma. Say grandpa? No. Me. I say grandpa, papa. You can say grandpa, grandma? Hi, grandpa, grandpa. Okay. Bye, Paul, bye, Paul. <laughs> sit down. Sit down. We can't see you if you stand. Oh, okay. Okay, say, we love you. We, we love, love you. Is that MC? Our wedding. Yeah, our wedding. Yeah, that was easy. It was our wedding. It yeah. was about us. Our favorite <laughs> memory was about us. No, there was like, I had moments of just like, I just felt very supported, and I cried with both of them, and that was really yeah, sweet. Yeah, and yeah. they did a ton. They did so much. They for did our everything wedding. for our wedding. Yeah, yeah. it was, it was really nice. My favorite memory of the past year was probably um, hanging out for the summer. I know we've had lots of weddings, lots of graduations, but this summer I just came and I stayed at the house for two weeks and I got to hang out with everybody and it was just really restorative and it felt awesome and I got to hang out and see everybody and also hung out at the pool a lot but more so got to be with my family and feel like part of the family. My favorite memory honestly was the wedding. It was super fun prepping for it and like getting everything ready for it. Um, Both weddings? Or? The wedding here in Folsom. And then the one in Georgia was super fun, too. And it was just fun to be all together. My favorite memory is definitely when it was after the, I think it was the last performance of Footloose, maybe the second to last. And uh, after Footloose, it was the last night. And I went up to the family stuff and Darren was crying and that that was a really good memory because it really showed how proud he was of me and that felt really good. And I love doing Footloose so much. So seeing my family be so happy for me, that was a really good memory. Obviously going to Europe and the Netherlands, Germany and Belgium. Um, but we thought of one specific memory that we loved from that trip. Favorite thing from the whole trip with you guys <laughs> was when we took that river boat ride through the canals of Amsterdam, and there was not one point when at least <laughs> three of us were asleep the whole ride. It was <laughs> so funny. We were having so much fun, partying so hard and so sick, and we were just troopers. Jake and McKaylee's wedding was, was good. Yeah, it was fun to get the whole family together, almost everyone together for Jake and McKaylee's wedding. That was cool. Um, and then um, if we had gone to Matthew's wedding, that probably would have been a probably great Probably made memory. the list, yes. Um, also, I like really appreciated when I had to go out of town for a work trip that 
I asked mom if she could come help watch my kids, even though it was like two days after they had gotten back from their Germany trip. And um, of course she said yes and was willing to help because those are just the type of people that Paige and Darren are, that they will do anything to help. Um, and so that was very meaningful, even though that wasn't really a memory I had with them, but that was just something really special for this year. It was good. Thank you for coming. It made life easier. Why don't we leave it at that? Nothing to say. Wishing them a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Love you all so much. Mwah. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We love you guys. Love you. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. We love you. Love you. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Love you. Merry Christmas. It says Merry Christmas. Do you see? Do, do, do you see? The, the top one is actually written backwards. So thank you for thinking that was forwards because I'm just that good at writing backwards. You're welcome and Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Love you guys. Copper says Merry Christmas. Copper. 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 Merry Christmas. He just wants to know that you're well. Oh. Just kidding, he doesn't know what Christmas is. He does too. He does not know. Look, what look, is. we know that you guys love your grandpuppy. And you know how much we love to talk about him. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Copper. Copper, look. All right, we're on five minutes, we should cut it. Copper. I'm trying to give Amanda good blooper footage. Gotta put the phone on the computer. Oh, no. This is why they invented tape, y'all. Can you say hi? Say, I love you. I 